On this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over how to identify and control white flies if you identify them on your cannabis plants. So kind of a unique look here at some white flies. This video is going to focus on how to identify them, control them on cannabis plants. So first off, the description of white flies. Well, white flies are a piercing and sucking insect that feed on the plant's sap. They can develop quickly in warm weather and they can mass multiply. You want to inspect the underside of the leaves for the actual insects, as you can see here. And you can also inspect for the small dots, which are the eggs, which will show just the pressure that is to come for white flies on your cannabis plants. Now, identification of uh, white flies. Well, luckily white flies are large and typically easy to spot with regular inspections. They're not super small like some other insects are. They feed on young plants. This can cause leaf curling and plant distortion because they're just basically piercing and sucking. So it's gonna cause that plant to take on that kind of crinkled look. Another reason for concern is the potential for viral transmission via white flies being the virus vector. Uh, kind of general feeding, you can see that kind of stippling on the leaves here. Flipping this over would likely reveal white flies. So how do you go about managing white flies? Well, white flies can quickly develop a resistance to pesticides. So this should only be used if there's an initial large population to kind of reduce or knock down their numbers before implementing another method of control. Then those, uh, that other method of control should be a biological control, such as the pirate bugs and green lacewings. Here you see a pirate bug feeding on the larvae of, uh, larvae of white flies. They can be an effective control, at least if they're established early when populations are small. Uh, and that's why if, if you have a large population, you can catch it early, knocking that down with p pesticides potential option, but really utilizing these beneficial insects is what's advised because it requires no chemical residue or applications to your actual cannabis plants.